inchworm to plank crossovers to a push-up. For these, you'll start in a standing position. You will place the hands on the floor, walk out to a plank, and then with a nicely braced core, you're going to bring each knee to the opposite elbow and then drop to a push-up. If you need to, you can of course drop to the knees in order to perform that push-up to my standard, which is to get your chest all the way down to the floor. Your objectives here are to minimize movement, side to side movement, and to really tune into your core. We wanna make sure that the core stays braced and we also wanna make sure that we're breathing properly throughout this exercise. I tend to exhale as I bring the knees across and as I push away in my push-up. You can also get a lot of shoulder work with all of these exercises, right? So think about the stability of your shoulders and tune into what they feel like. Next, we have the beast to side kick. So starting in a nice strong beast position or a quadruped position, you are going to transition to a side kick and come right back to a super solid beast position. Your objective each time you come back to that center position is to make sure the back is nice and flat and the core is braced. Next, we'll be going into dive bombers. For these, I always imagine myself sneaking underneath a barbed wire fence or something that I just definitely don't want to touch my back on. So from here, from almost like a downward dog position, I dive down towards the floor, nose just scraping by the floor, then chin scraping by the floor, chest scraping by the floor, hips scraping by the floor, and then reverse it. If you are having difficulty reversing it, just go ahead and rise the hips back up to a downward dog position and then walk the hands back in. You of course wanna make sure that you're breathing throughout this exercise and also try to keep the neck nice and long. We definitely don't need any added tension in your neck. Next, we'll go into another variation of beast with a kick, except for this time, we're gonna to kick to the front. Now, I've got a nice little flow going here, but if you need to move a little bit slower, that is totally fine. Over time, I do want you to try to challenge yourself and almost throw yourself off balance, right? That is one of the, the great things about this movement is that it really helps to work on the stability of your shoulder joints. Just as in the other one, each time you come back to the starting position, you wanna to try to find a nice flat back. We will finish with hollow rocks. So for hollow rocks, you wanna keep yourself in a hollow body line. Breathe throughout the entirety of this exercise.